uh, what is it? Is it haram? Why is it haram to pluck the eyebrows? Because the Prophet ﷺ said it is haram. Doesn't it say in the Quran that if you just tidy them, that it is okay? No, no, sister. Look, you can prepare yourself for your husband, but the plucking of the eyebrows is not for your husband. This is a culture from the kuffar, so the women appear when they go outside better than they are inside. Even let me go a little further, sisters. Sister, you can prepare yourself. You can wear real nice. You can put on all. You can go get uh, what is that lady? They call it she she uh, they, uh, 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 Victoria's Secret or or whatever. You can go and get all of that. Make yourself real nice and looking real passionate and exotic and everything for your husband. So when he comes home, he just wants to drop everything. You can do that. You can burn the candles, sister. You can make put the silk sheets and you can cook the food and make an exotic. You can even belly dance, whatever you want to do for your husband. But sister, if you are getting yourself ready and going outside and putting your, you know, like that, and fixing your kima and everything, looking in the mirror and everything. Who are you doing that for? Not for your husband, sister. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Prophet said, Allah cursed the women who are fully dressed but they are naked. They are fully dressed but they are naked. How is that? That means they got on all the clothes, but the way they talk, the way they walk, they're wearing the certain such, they pluck their eyebrows, they do this, they do that. For whom? for other men to see them. No sisters, prepare yourself any way you like for your husband and spend your time to do that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless you for that. If the Prophet sallallahu said don't pluck the eyebrows, don't pluck the eyebrows. And don't try to try to find a way around that because you want to pluck your eyebrows. Don't do it. <laughs>